Welcome guys. The topic of this tutorial is it registers one of the most fundamental topics in microcontrollers. A register is nothing but a memory space with a specific address that allow us to configure different peripherals. Uh, in STM32 microcontrollers all registers have a size of 32 bits. So we can configure um, register as a table with 32 cells so for each so for each cell we can write either 0 or 1 in order to understand uh, the concept of registers it's better to use them in practice and and see how how it works so we're going to configure the mode of input output pins using the following register model so instead of x we have um, the port name um, in in this register um, for each pin we have two bits so these two less significant bits are for pin 0 then we have pin 1 pin 2 and so on so if we want to configure pin uh, as an input pin we have to write 0 0 to the corresponding bits then we have a 0 1 to configure as an output uh, pin then we have alternate function and analog modes but we will cover them cover them later um, so for instance if we want to configure pin 0 as an input and pin 1 as an output we have to write 0 1 0 0 to these cells so 0 0 means um, um, having input pin so this is pin 0 then we have um, pin 1 as an output pin so we understood uh, the concept of registers but let me show how to work with registers when programming the microcontrollers first uh, we'll define a pointer variable with the following data type that matches the size of the register 32 bits then we will assign the address uh, of the register that we need to this variable we can uh, find uh, the address of the of the necessary register using the reference manual in the datasheet and finally we can write the following line so this value will be assigned to the register that we need so uh, uh, using this approach we can write any value to any register but um, the problem with this approach is that um, we might work with dozens of registers and uh, finding the address of each register is quite cumbersome and time consuming therefore we use um, Common microcontroller software interface standard seems this um, APIs to program STM32 microcontrollers. If we open our project um, within drivers folder, you will find um, CMC's folder. So if we open these uh, folders, uh, finally you will find the following files so if you open this file inside of this we have um, these structs um, that allow us to work with uh, different uh, peripherals so in our case we have um, this um, struct and it has uh, following uh, members that match um, the registers of GPIO peripheral so in our case we have the following um, register of this struct then if we search for GPIO A we have already defined that markers to work with di different ports so instead of writing this code we can just uh, write this um, one line to assign this value to this register.
of port A.